What is up, ladies and gentlemen, video game viewer here, bringing you the door in the basement. Um, and no, uh, your resolution is not screwed up. The game is apparently this pixelated. So let's uh, jump in and see what madness we can find. Go ahead and hit new game. <clears throat> it's been almost 10 years since I was last down here. I would always try to avoid this basement as a kid, ever since I found that door. The one no one else could see. Occasionally, curiosity would get the better of me, and I would peer into the basement. Sometimes the door would be gone. I hoped I would never see it again. But it always came back. And I'm assuming we just walk through it. Okay. Ben, Dad said there should only be four more boxes to bring up. Okay. Uh, they're marked with yellow tape. Okay, collect four boxes. Um, here's one. Okay. Wait, that wasn't one of the boxes? Oh. Uh, okay, here's one. I didn't see this here before. Inspect. Well. Wow. What a great photo. Claire and Ben at college in 1996. Okay. Um, go back up, drop off the box. Riveting gameplay, guys. Riveting gameplay. Are they really going to make me walk up and down these... Like, steps four times. I mean, I get the gist. Oh, I guess it's building atmosphere. I don't know. This is what we play when there's lack of good horror games. On the Steam store. Actually, I don't even know. This could be a, this could be a good game. I don't know. We'll have to find out. Where is that? Fourth damn box. Spooky. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not doing that, brah. You are fucked now. What the fuck? Uh, hello? Yeah, I, I'm... T talk. Okay, he doesn't say anything. Hold shift to run. I knew that already. Okay. Game's not scary. Okay. It feels like weeks since I walked through that door. I'm so hungry. There's no sun down here. So I have no way of knowing exactly how long I've been trapped in this place. 
but I know it's been a long time. I've been looking for a way out of here since I arrived, but this place seems to go on forever. I'm going to start leaving notes behind to document my findings. If nothing else, it'll be a good way to keep track of which areas I've been to already, and perhaps if there is anyone else down here with their sanity intact. My information might prove useful. Marcus. I don't know if y'all could hear that. Can't be turned by hand. Okay. I'm assuming we need to find a leather, uh, a lever, a leather. Crouch. I'm gonna walk, take my time. Sounds like the pits of hell down there. Okay, hatch handle. All right, now we can go back. Here, insert. Okay. Um, do I just go for it? Yeah, I guess so. Hello? Stay calm. Don't worry. I can't worry about it. I'm assuming these are others that have gotten trapped. Oh, fucking A! Oh, shit! Please open, please open, please open. Uh, oh shit. Not today, motherfucker! Oh, didn't juke him like I wanted to. I don't know what that ticking is. <laughs> oh, he is right on my ass. I'm gonna die. Okay, it's for this. Bitch.
I like it better out there with you. I've met other people stuck down here, but there's something very wrong with them. Every person I've met is missing their eyes, but I can still feel them staring at me. It's, uns it's an unsettling feeling. When I speak to them, they don't seem concerned about where they are. They will repeatedly tell me not to worry. I'm sure they know more about this place, but are refusing to talk. Almost like they're scared or brainwashed. Okay, so there are others down here. Um, we got to watch out for those guys. I don't like sounds like that, man. You should stop making sounds like that. Save the game. So we... Can apparently save. Okay, we will. I find them creepy, but not really scary. I'm worried if I talk to them, they're just going to come after me. But I guess we will. Okay. Nothing down there. Have you met him yet? Met who? The man with no face. I don't want to meet no man with no face. <gasps> what the fuck? The sh fuck? Okay. Apparently we were knocked out for quite some time. I don't know how long this game is, by the way, guys. So, I'm not sure how long of an episode this is really going to be. Um, is that something I can grab? No. Okay. 
A school camping trip to the Garden Valley Forest ended in tragedy as an animal attack claimed the lives of many of the campers. The attack occurred while the campers were on a hike through the eastern region of the forest. Authorities were called to the scene at 7 a.m. on Saturday morning. Wildlife experts are still unsure as to what kind of animal was responsible for this attack as the campsite is located in an area free from dangerous wildlife. Uh, do we have any kind of like inven inventory system health? I'm assuming we can be killed. I don't see any uh, health bar though. This looks like quite a large area. Um, let's explore this a little more. Not really seeing anything. Here is a note. Maybe if I can get to it. Come on. I feel as though I'm seeing the same person over and over again down here. All the inhabitants of this place seem almost featureless, like they're nothing more than a blank slate. I'm not even sure they're human. Who are they? What are they? Marcus. Uh, hopefully we... Uh, find this Marcus guy and get him out of here. Atmosphere is super creepy in this. Um, sound effects are perfect. Perfect, guys. You did perfect in the sound effects department. And uh, I do dig the art style, I think. Radio. Can't interact with that door. Let me guess. You want me to talk to me and then you're going to chase me around with a knife. Don't disturb the walls. The walls? He can't reach us here, but the man with no face has many pets. Where are we? Who is the man with no face? Don't worry about it. Bro, if you pull out that shiv, I'm gonna smooth knock you the fuck out. So I'm digging the little storyline that's going on here. Um, not much of an intro, but enough to explain the story, sort of. Better than what I've seen in previous games. We went back at, like, no explanation of what the hell was going on in that. Good lord. Keep moving. I feel like he's coming this way. <sighs> nope. I don't do spiders. Don't do spiders. What the fuck? What? That thing was like the size of a city bus. You're trying to tell me it went into there. Oh my god. 
God, this place is a maze. sound I've started to hear skittering coming from the walls I don't know what's making these sounds and I don't want to find out if anyone is reading this don't stay here too long can't go down there I still, I still want to check everywhere I knew there was going to be something down here that I needed. Um, I guess let's just dip into here. I guess it doesn't make a difference. Load times are really short. I like that. Guys. I want to I I I want to see it. Yep, okay, that, that one got me. That was a real jump scare. That one got me. More etched bone. Oh, I think I know. The etch bones are going to open the, that door. Um. Okay. Yes, I think we want to drop down into here. So I think the edged bones go on to this. They do. Need one more. I guess I auto crouch. I do. No, 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 no. You're not getting me again.
just one more etched bone. it is big stupid spiders don't scare me spiders come on little bugs all right so we got the third etched bone we can head uh, you head back to that door, open that up, and see what madness waits beyond. I think it's, uh, <clears throat> I think one of the more tense things about horror games is when you're, like, being chased. More, there's more missing posters now. Uh, let's, okay, we'll save. continue guys I uh, <clears throat> I'm feeling this might be a two-parter um, seems like kind of a long game I'm just g guessing I don't really know uh, it's, it's probably at least longer than um, an hour and a half which is longer than I want you guys to have to sit through a video uh, so I'm probably going to make this a two-part episode and uh, we'll pick it back up another day. Man, I, I really am like kind of digging the sound effects. I mean, I said that before, but this is like really atmospheric down here. Um, oh my god! Jesus! We're fucking done. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Tell me that guy can't follow me down here. I don't want to find out. Whoa. Was not expecting this. Is he like pointing? Yeah, I think he is.
This game is actually really good. You know, I, 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 to be honest, going into this game, I didn't really know. Oh, man, look at that skeleton of whatever that is. That thing is massive. I really didn't know what to expect, though, when I went into this game. Um, like, I thought it was probably going to be like B-rate or something, but this is not bad. That skeleton is huge. That would be sweet. I kind of want to go exploring this. Okay, I thought maybe we'd be able to... I, I, I just got to see what this is. This is a giant human skeleton. Spooky. Another note from Marcus, I'm assuming. This place makes no sense. I thought we were somewhere deep underground, but one of the tunnels opened up into a marsh. Steep rock walls surround it, but it very much has the feeling of being outside. Climbing the walls seems impossible. I found colossal skeletons partly, partially submerged in the dirt. One of them looks almost human, but it's missing a face. At the entrance, I saw a statue seeming to defy the creature. Whatever these things are, they've been here for a very long time. I, too, I also like how the game is kind of like, uh, doesn't really hold your hand much. It's like... I should say there's like, what the fuck? Uh, talk. Secrets for the eyes. You're unwilling to give up your eyes at the moment. Come back with eyes. Okay. I mean, I'll come back with some eyes for you. Maybe. Bye. You know what the... You, you know what this room... Okay, guys. I, I might show my age here, uh, but the movie Labyrinth, when that came out and I was a kid, scared the shit out of me. And uh, this kind of reminds me of an even more fucked up version of the movie Labyrinth. can't get behind there, can we? Not yet, anyway. I'm assuming we're gonna have to turn those fans off. There probably is something behind there. I'm gonna guess that's an eyeball. Pick up discarded eye. Let's, uh, see what's up the steps. Patient, Benjamin Taylor. I asked the patient to describe the animal attack he witnessed at Green Valley Forest. He told me that a monster was responsible for the attack. He described the attacker as having large antlers and standing upright on two legs. However, it was very far away and moving back into the trees.
Something is walking down there, guys. I can hear it. Splitting up to look for answers hasn't been working. On our own, we've both been attacked by a tall, shambling creature. We were able to get away, but I think we should stick together from now on. While we were apart, Zoe found a knife. It's not very effective against these creatures, but it could be useful later. Guessing we're looking for the other eyeball. Fucking bastard. Okay. All right, we're saving. <sighs> okay, guys. Well, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, if you want to see the continuation of this, uh, make sure you hit that like button to let me know you're enjoying this video. And also, if you haven't already and you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications of when I upload more videos like this. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.